We are so excited to kick off this week in Philadelphia by sitting down with current BPS president, TJ Ha. Dr. Ha has truly made the most of his time as president by creating an exciting new task force and implementing a number of changes that you will notice right here this week. Thank you so much for your time today and for joining us here in studio. Thank you. All right, let's get started. You know, first off, congratulations on a very exciting and successful year. As you take a look back, is there any one thing in particular that stands out and maybe an accomplishment that you're most proud of? So I am most proud of the program committee who put together a most diverse and forward-looking lineup of speakers for the meeting. And they were chaired by Ibrahim Sisse and Elizabeth Villa, uh, who I uh, appointed. Mm -hmm. That was a real privilege for me to choose them, and it was the best decision that I'm most proud of. Like I mentioned, you've created a number of new initiatives, um, specifically a new task force, among other things. Can you describe some of those? Yeah, we had a new task force for new awards, and we created uh, four new uh, awards for the society. And the first one is on computational biophysics, named after Klaus Schulten and Lucy uh, Schulten. And they uh, are the towering figures in the uh, field. And the second uh, new award uh, is uh, for research uh, performed in primarily undergrad uh, institutions. And third uh, new award uh, is for young investigators, uh, new investigators that have been independent for fewer than uh, six years. Finally, uh, we have outstanding doctoral dissertation award. And we have uh, two uh, awards to pick. Uh, one is for uh, candidates within the United States and the other is for candidates from outside the U.S. As far as this meeting goes, lots of new changes as well. We have our SIMP Select speakers, um, platform flash talks, lots of different changes. What can attendees expect as they head into this week? So uh, these uh, changes were actually inspired by my attending previous meetings, mm -hmm. uh, several experiments run by the subgroups, and uh, new initiatives such as by, uh, Black and Biophysics Presidential mm -hmm. Symposiums. I, I learned that uh, when we have uh, uh, shorter talks, uh, people pay uh, uh, greater attention, mm. speakers perform better, and we also are allowed, uh, we are able to give uh, more opportunities to our members to present their own work. And uh, that's the goal for the ch behind the changes, to give additional presentation opportunities for the members. And I think uh, uh, you will be able to see uh, the outcome. So even biophysicists might have short attention spans. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, we learned that. Yeah, we learned that. Yeah. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about you and how you became involved in the Biophysical Society. So I was uh, trained as a physicist, so uh, it's not a big exaggeration to say that everything I know about biophysics I learned through the society. So when they asked me to serve on some committees, I uh, you know, agreed to serve uh, with uh, enthusiasm. And uh, for the young uh, researchers and scientists, uh, you know, my uh, suggestion would be to uh, seek out opportunities to meet uh, new people because uh, your career and life will be shaped by the people you meet, mm -hmm. uh, in mo many cases by random chances and by uh, volunteering to serve on the society uh, duties, you increase your uh, networking opportunities. Absolutely. Well, as you pass the torch and you wrap up your term as president, what are some of your priorities looking ahead, personally? I was really sad that I couldn't uh, take in a lot of science uh, because mm. of my duties as uh, president uh, in the past couple of meetings. So I look forward to you know, learning more science <laughs> once my term is over. Getting back to the science. That's right. All yeah. right. Dr. Ha, thank you so much for all of your work this, this past year and also for this week. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.